Hi, I'm Cassandra the Joyful Artist and in this video I'm just sharing some memories of times I've showed up for joy despite really bad weather, whether it's economically, politically, culturally, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Seems appropriate today on this terrible blustery winter's day to reflect on the joy that art can bring. This is not a winter's day, it's actually a summer's day and as you can see it is absolutely stormy, blustery, wet and wild. But the beautiful thing about art is that no matter what the weather, you can create the landscapes of your mind and bring in beautiful uplifting colour. As some clients have said to me, your paintings have been a sanity saver during this time. I hope you enjoy the video. It's not literal. I don't. I'm not a. I'm not a literal painter. I don't want. I think the world's already too literal. <laughs> I just want to transcend the world um, and bring something that's just like a beautiful sunrise. You know, it's just a, a wash and a blaze of colour. My style I would describe as fluid, sensual, transcendent. There are, my style is an emotional. I was thinking today, I love to paint and I, I'm very inspired to paint as Amy Winehouse wrote songs. She wrote with this real honesty. She wrote with these beautiful, that touched people's hearts. And she wrote, so sometimes when my style is, um, maybe something's going on and I'm not, I'm not feeling joyful about it. So my style is how to tr transcend something painful and create something beautiful. So maybe the weather's not fantastic, well I'll paint summer. I take commissions and it's a really interesting, beautiful process and some people, some other artists may say it's frustrating because people have too many opinions. I, I love to involve people and I think it should be a collaborative process, that's my perspective. Your painting is like a baby, <laughs> it's like my baby and if I'm going to give my baby away, because sometimes people say, oh I must really hurt to give your babies away, your paintings, and I think it's the greatest privilege to know that your painting is somewhere and it's sparking delight. And, um, so yeah, I just love, love, love commissions and I love painting to the colour palette that people, um, the mood actually is what I ask people, how do you want to feel? Um, so yeah, I just, it's, it's the best. much of this as we can in the while while this Noah's Ark event is happening outside. Oh wow! <laughs> we did it live. Live. During this amazing storm, <laughs> because I love painting to water, so it actually it's there. Really you go, yeah. Because we've got this amazing water effect. Hey? Yeah, yeah. Wow! 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 Oh, Not bad. I just love that. <laughs> wow. Hang on. Okay, right.
Always Summer was a super fun commission to do. It was a large-scale art piece commissioned by a wonderful Bay of Islands family who wanted something truly stunning and unique to celebrate the recent renovations, or rather at the time, soon to be completed renovations of their Bay of Islands home. The brief was simple and wonderful. They wanted the painting to feel like it was always summer. They were particularly motivated by the really torrential rain that can often happen up here as it is today as I record this video on the 3rd of January 2023 in what should be summer but is actually one of the wettest, wildest periods we've ever had. It's torrential downpours. So the painting will be holding up well in their home with these brilliant blues and wonderful warm sunny yellows, peaceful whites and sea greens. It's always going to feel like summer in their beautiful home. And as they wrote to me in the last downpour, your painting has been a sanity saver during these torrential wet months. That's the beauty of art. That's what art can do. It can always feel like summer, even when it's the most revolting day. I often say to people things, your passion or purpose doesn't usually, it's not something you go chasing, it actually finds you and I think all of us it's just following the things that sets our heart on fire and, and for me it's always been colour and bright, you know, sunny, beautiful colour. So it's just looking for that which is uplifting. information about my books, my artworks, creativity tips, online courses and in-person art retreats, please visit my website cassandragaysford.com and please do like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.